Okay. Okay. My family's from Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. My grandparents, um, my grandmother and grandfather Roberts had a restaurant, a small family restaurant. So food was an important part of our history on that side. And my other grandmother actually lived on the water. Um, so uh, an inlet of the Chesapeake Bay. So we did a lot of crabbing and fishing behind her house. So things like Maryland crab soup and all that, those were always homemade. So food is um, pretty important in our family as far as uh, homemade food. And uh, my parents actually moved to Pennsylvania when I was 13. So that's uh, how we got here. So yeah. yeah, we lived on a farm here. My dad wanted a farm. So even though we weren't farmers, we moved to one. How's that, living on a farm? Well, we grew vegetables. We had animals um, that we took care of and um, butchered um, beef. We had a few pigs, which are horrible animals. Um, I would never own a pig. And uh, let's see, we also, uh, we had a cow for a year. My father thought we drank too much milk, so he bought a dairy cow, and so I milked a cow for a year, big brown Swiss, until it got, got to be a bit too much. But anyway, um, so that's that. Okay. Um, when did your family gather? And what foods were oh, goodness. served at those gatherings? My, so like holidays, birthdays, things like that. Okay, my family, extended family, um, grandparents, aunts and uncles got together every single Sunday my entire growing up time. Um, and they almost always came to our house. It was only on holidays that we went to my grandparents' house. Um, so my mother cooked a Sunday dinner for, there were five of us, but it could have been anywhere from, oh, 10 to 20 people, um, depending on how many of my father's brothers and his, uh, their families came to. So we had big Sunday dinners, yeah, and then Christmas, uh, we did not cook uh, we went to my grandmother's, both grandmothers for Christmas. We would eat twice, and gra both grandparents for Easter. And then we'd have big crab feeds at my grandparents' um, well, 4th of July, unless the crabs, they brought crabs to our house. So now you know we cook, we cook Thanksgiving here now for everybody. Yeah. So, okay. Um, and so that was, the next question was, who prepared these meals where did the recipes come from? Oh yeah, the, those recipes, a lot of them are handed down. Um, handed down sure. Yep, yep. Cakes, cake recipes are handed down. Um, crab soup is Grandma and Kirby's crab soup. Um, Grandpa was a great cook. And, uh, Grandpa Roberts? Grandpa Roberts, we always, uh, he made potato salad and coleslaw and um, soups and uh, when he made cheese steaks, he would cook a whole beef loin and shave the beef oh. off himself. He'd do that every single day. Yeah. yeah. Is that, so he's the one that had the restaurant? He, he and Grandma. Okay. And he would do the cooking and she did the baking. So, But growing up, my father had fresh donuts every morning. That's probably why he passed away at 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she made fresh donuts every morning at oh home. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Isn't that something? That so good. Yep, and you know, uh, Polish recipes, because we're Polish. Mm -hmm. Gwonkis and... Um, Gwonki, Krzczykis. Yeah, sauerkraut and kibasi. So all those things, you know. Gwonk what are Gwonkis again? That's uh, cabbage rolls. It's uh, like a, a, be a meat mixture with rice. And you roll that in um, cabbage okay. leaves, and then there's a tomato sauce that goes over the top. I remember. They're, those. those are so good. Bonkies. Yeah, so good. In fact, I should make them again soon. And you bake, you put a strip of bacon over the top and bake it. It's really good. So, mm-hmm. Um, I know you said stuff about this. Do you have cooking pots, kitchen utensils? Or anything that is meaningful to you. Oh my goodness, and yeah. And so, why? 
Well, all my pots are from Grandma and Kirby. That's my mom's mom. You know, all her um, guardian service. I have all of that, and I th that's her big crab pot that I make soup in. Mm -hmm. And then I have Grandma Robert's um, spatulas for icing cakes, and the cake pan, the two pan that's in the oven now, that's what Grandma baked. That's probably 60 years old. Yeah, so that's what she baked her pound cakes in. I have her old aprons. I have an apron that's 80 years old that was in her hope chest that I wore at Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know, so when you, when you, and I use her mixing bowls and all that sort of thing. First of all, things were made a lot better back then, so they last. Yeah. Um, especially the utensils, hand utensils, uh, spatulas and that sort of thing. But secondly, it makes me think of them every time I use them, even though I think of them anyway, but it especially it makes me feel good. Nice reminders. Yeah, it makes me feel or good. Or did you have any favorite restaurants that you went and ate at? That we ate I feel like at? it was mostly home Oh, well, we were... Most important. Yeah, Robert's right. Restaurant on Wise yeah. Avenue in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> that was, um, oh my gosh, they, you know. Robert's. Yeah, that's what it was, Robert's Restaurant. Um, I wish I was still around. I somewhere. know, I know. And, you know, in, in Maryland, they had, a, they had a beer and wine license, so they served beer and wine with dinners there. And they had specials every day. So you usually ate there like every night? No. Oh, no. If we ate there once a month, that okay. was, yeah, we didn't know. But like to go out to eat, did I have favorite restaurants? Oh, my gosh. There are some wonderful restaurants that, um, yeah, in, in Maryland especially. Here, there's not really any in New York. There aren't any wonderful ones. The Akamak is the Akamak mm -hmm. Inn down by the river. That's very good. And, um, I mean, not so, not so many in York. I like a sauna. You know, the Thai food yeah. there is good. Bowling Springs Tavern is really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. You we, went there. We went, we went up there on our anniversary oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just because I wanted to go back. I hadn't been there. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, Buka de Beppo, I think, chunks all the... As far as a chain, that is the best chain there is, is Buka de Beppo. Back there, so. Yeah, that's just, first of all, it's fun. Yeah. You know, and then their food is good. It's different. So, anyway. Okay, what else am I supposed to answer? Very good. That's it? Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any other restaurant that's really good. That, um, um, well, there's a place in Leesburg that is just outstanding. I have to think what it's called. Leesburg, Virginia. Yeah. Le Did you go there? Dad and I went there. Oh, oh was the that on your trip to Charleston? No, no. In Char oh my gosh, Charleston. There's a, a place there called Fulton Five. Dad and I went there for a 25th anniversary dinner. That was wonderful. But you can't get a bad meal in that town. Charleston. Oh my gosh. If you ask where to go to eat, people will tell you, go anywhere but a chain. As long as you're not eating in a chain, you're going to have a great meal. The seafood... Is so fresh. The is fish that on water? Is Charleston on water? Oh yeah, that's where the Civil War started. Fort Sumter's right there. So yeah, it's right on, right on the water. Um, Charleston you get a Harbor. Cast down there. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so nice, beautiful. That's the first place I ever ate grits. Cheese uh, grits. And they were good. They were good. Probably never liked grits anywhere else. I never tried grits anywhere else. I'm trying to think of the name of that restaurant in Leesburg. It was named for um, it was named for General Lee's horse, I think. Oh, I can't think of the name of it, but it is. They have wonderful food. It'll come to me. It'll come to me later. So anyway. Nothing like a good restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I live in the best one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, 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 sh you certainly get... Spoiled. More food than... 
than a more more variety maybe than some people got. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people just when they cook they stick to one more. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay. I'm filming you. Okay. 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 Keep your eyes and pick one one way. Are we ready? Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear Sean. Happy birthday to you. That's a good one. That's a serious one. <laughs> okay, make a wish. Phew. <laughs> 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 Still got your cardio. Victory yeah. sip. <laughs>